Great, and talk about what uh, Mr. Reardon's being charged with. Right now he's being charged with assault in the first degree. It's a Class B violent felony. Okay, and how did you come to that decision? Well, what's being charged right now, and, and that's all I can comment, is is that um, with intent to cause serious physical injury to um, another, he did do that with uh, a motor vehicle. Okay, and what do you believe he did? I can't say what I believe he did. I can only say what's, uh, sorry, lodged, what? which, what's being alleged in the charges, which is what I just told you. Okay, it's being, uh, being alleged in the charges that he... I'm sorry, can you explain? With the intent to cause physical injury to another, he did strike somebody with a motor vehicle, thereby causing injury. I know you asked for an order of protection in there. Why did you do that? Just to make sure that everybody is going to be protected. Um, the uh, the judge set bail tonight in the amount of $10,000, $20,000 bond. However, it is anticipated that um, he is going to be uh, released to his probation officer. He's currently on probation. And um, that he is going to be confined to his house. He's going to be on electronic home monitoring. It's my understanding he has got significant injuries himself that he's dealing with right now. So we want to make sure that the, the victim is protected. Well, uh, this judge cannot take a, a guilty plea uh, to a uh, felony level crime. All the local justices can do is take a not guilty plea to a felony level crime. They don't have jurisdiction to do otherwise, so he, uh, it, it's an automatic guilty plea, at, or excuse me, an automatic not guilty plea at this stage. Okay, might he change his plea later on? Well, I don't know anything about this case. I got to tell you, uh, I have spoken with, uh, uh, with Jordan for a total of about 10 minutes, uh, and I don't know what went on. Uh, obviously, the prosecutor decided to make an arrest based on half the story because they don't have Jordan's side of the story. I want to set the record real clear about his cooperation. He uh, fully intended to cooperate uh, with the police, but when uh, a lawyer gets involved, uh, such as I did, and, uh, and I haven't had a chance to talk to the client myself, I'm certainly not going to let them talk to the police. So Jordan has not been uncooperative, as I think has been uh, alleged by some uh, in law enforcement. Uh, he's been wanted to be much more cooperative than I professionally could let him do at this stage of the game. Now that they've arrested him, uh, they've effectively prevented me from allowing him to sit down and talk to him right now. So that's a move that uh, the DA chose to make. I'm not sure it was a wise one, but uh, that's a, her discretion. Which is a disposition right now? My, uh, Jordan's disposition? Mm -hmm. uh, he's in a lot, a lot of pain. Uh, he's got about 40 staples in his abdomen. Uh, he was cut very, very deeply uh, and badly. And uh, uh, he's on some heavy uh, pain medications right now, so he's not, uh, you know, he's not very helpful uh, did, right at the moment. Did he come right here of his own volition tonight? Yes, we contacted uh, the DA's office and uh, Detective Goodman and asked if we could surrender him, uh, and there wasn't any problem with that. And why did he choose to do that? Well, it's the easy way to do things. It's the way I like to do things. I don't like people to have to come and knock on my client's door and arrest them. Uh, I'd rather do it like this. It's, it's a lot easier for all involved. Mm -hmm. And do there's like no reason for him to run on this, I don't think, at this stage. So, Do you feel like the charges are too severe? Well, I think uh, based on what they're alleging, the, the charge fits the, the allegations. Uh, you know, assault first degree is an intentional act which causes serious physical injury with a, a, a dangerous instrument, which a vehicle is under the law. So they, they may have it charged right based on the allegations of the complainant. But as I said, I've, I've only seen a little bit of, of, of one side of the story. And uh, this thing is, you know... Uh, is a situation where uh, the other side is going to come out at some point in time. It's just a question of when.